three-way ANOVA followed by post hoc test in SPSS. Three-way ANOVA is factorial ANOVA. The test is used when there are three different factors or three different independent variables and one dependent variable. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted a data. There are three factors or three independent variables and one dependent variable. The three factors are the first one, the job factor, which have four levels in it, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurses. So there are four groups or four categories in this factor. The second factor is the qualification factor for PhD. The PhD factor have two levels. Either you have a PhD or no PhD. So there are two categories. The third factor is the gender factor and it have two levels in it, male or female. So there are two groups. The dependent variable, which is the salary, is the wages earned by individual per year in pounds. So this dependent variable is a continuous variable. For this data, we have three factors job, PhD, gender, and one dependent variable, which is the salary. To find out whether there is a difference between the salary earned by doctors, dentists, pharmacists, and nurses, and whether there is a difference in the salary uh, earned based on factor two, which is having a PhD or no PhD, and to find out whether there is a difference in the salary based on the gender, whether you are a male or a female, three-way ANOVA statistical test will be performed. Uh, the test will examine whether there is a difference among the levels for factor one, and whether there is a difference uh, among the levels within factor two, and whether there is a difference in the level among factor three, which is the gender uh, based on the salary. The test also will uh, examine whether there is an interaction between different factors uh, that might have an effect on the salary. To perform the three-way ANOVA, seven hypotheses will be generated. The first null hypothesis states that there is no differences in the means among the levels in factor number one. The second null hypothesis states that there is no differences in the mean for factor two in terms of the salary. The third null hypothesis states that there is no differences in the mean for factor three. And the fourth null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor one and factor two. Uh, the fifth null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor one and factor three. And the sixth null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor uh, two and factor three. And the seventh null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor one and factor two and factor three, and they have no effect on the salary earned. To do the Analysis, click on Analyze, scroll down to General Linear Model, 
and then click on univariate in this window here move the salary into the dependent variable and the job and the phd and the gender into the fixed factors click on plots move the job into the horizontal axis click on add the phd into a horizontal axis click on add and the gender into a horizontal axis click on add then select the job move it to horizontal axis a phd into separate line add and then job again into horizontal gender into separate and then add and then phd into horizontal and gender into separate then add and then select the job finally into the horizontal phd into separate and gender into separate plots click on ads now we have a plots for all possible combination of interaction click on continue click on post hoc since there are four levels in the factor for job a post hoc test will be done for that there is no point of cho choosing a, a post hoc test for a gender and phd as both of them are um, binomial they only have two categories in them click in tucky here choose the tucky um, uh, post hoc test click on continue post hoc test will look for all possible combination and pairwise between two groups and determine whether there is a difference in the mean and whether there is a significant difference for between these two groups within the uh, uh, job factor click on um, estimated marginal means and select all the factors here and all the um, factors and factor interaction move them to the display means for and then click on compare ma main effect click on ok and for the click on the save or icon and click on un standardize click continue for the options select the descriptive statistics homogeneity of test and estimate of the size effect click on continue and then click on ok the SPSS will generate several tables and plots toward the end and for the first table it shows the number of cases included in each factor with its sub level um, as we have here uh, for the job factor four levels and there are 24 participants in each group phd two levels and there are 48 participants in each group and gender two groups male and female and they have 48 in each group for the second table descriptive statistics shows the mean and the standard deviation for the three factors combined um, as we can see here job level one doctors who have a phd and who, who is male this is their mean salary and for female this is their mean salary and for doctor who have no phd this is the mean for the male and the female and for dentist the same and pharmacist and uh, nurses the third table is the leavens test for equality of variances again the table shows that there is no homogeneity of variances so there is a heterogeneity of variances and one of the assumption for performing three-way ANOVA is violated however we will continue with the analysis as the ANOVA is a robust method to perform analysis using it the next table is the test of between subject effect this is the table will determine the statistical differences for each individual factor the main factors which are the three factor job phd and gender and then the interaction between these factor all possible 
interactions. So we are going to ignore the first two uh, rows here, corrected metal model and intercept. For the job factor, there is a significant differences uh, in terms of the salary earned among the four different groups, doctors, dentists, pharmacists, and nurses. For the PhD factor, there is again a significant difference in the salary earned for those who have a PhD compared to those who do not have a PhD. However, for the third factor, which is the gender, it shows that there is no differences in the salary or no differences in the mean of the salary earned between those who are males or females. So the gender have no effect on the amount of money earned annually. The interaction between job and PhD indicate that there is a significant differences uh, on the salary earned. However, job and gender have no significant difference and there is no interaction and there is no effect on the salary earned. PhD and gender, again, there is no significant differences um, between PhD and gender. Uh, for the final interaction, which is job, PhD, and gender, again, there is no significant differences, which indicate that interaction between these three factors have no influences on the salary earned. Uh, the other um, tables are just subgroups for the um, all different factors and interactions. This table shows that the pairwise comparison using Taki test, since we have four levels uh, in that factor, uh, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurses, and the test will combine and test pairwise groups to find whether there is a significant differences between doctor and dentist or doctor and pharmacist or doctor and nurses. Um, the analysis here shows that there is a significant difference. If we scroll down toward the end, the first plot shows the job and the salary earned, the mean salary earned. As we can see here, the doctor have the highest salary and nurse is the lowest salary. The second plot shows that those who have a PhD tend to have higher salary than those who without a PhD. The other uh, graph shows here factor interaction between factor jobs and PhDs and we can see from this plot that those who have a, a PhD uh, have a higher salary compared to those who do not have a PhD um, here whether they are doctor or dentist or pharmacist or nurses uh, the next plot shows that gender have no influences on the salary earned and finally, uh, interaction between uh, having a PhD and a job and we are, whether you are a male or a female. And it shows here that uh, PhD have, uh, who, those who have a PhD have higher salary compared to those who do not have. And uh, similarly, the female. So this indicates that gender have no influence on the salary earned. So this is the way to perform three-way ANOVA statistical test analysis in SPSS.